So good morning, everybody. Yeah, it's super close yet again. I don't know why. Um, sorry, I'm just going to try to jimmy this up a little bit. Well, that didn't work. So it is what it is. I'm not going to be on here long. I'm um, just keeping up with my promise of, boy, that really sucks. I really, really hate that. Um, let me see if I can just move a few things. And God willing, not lose you in the process. Oh, God. Every time I get on here, I got an itchy nose. Um, not so much. I'm trying to think of something I could put behind this wonderful jacked up. Okay, I'm done. That's what I was sort of hoping for. Um... So I slept pretty good last night. Um, I don't even know what time I fell asleep. All I know, I was really, really sore because I worked my ass off in the garage yesterday. I'll be showing you that video later. I mean, I haven't shot it, but um, I'll show you how I <laughs> totally destroyed my garage um, in looking for the mower charger. So, and I don't know who gave me this, but thank you if you still are on my channel, still subscribed. Boy, does that ever fit today, or in general. Mm. I can't find it. I've looked everywhere. Um, there are still a couple boxes to go through, but I find it very, very unlikely that I'm going to find it. So I went on to Amazon yesterday put all my information in. Thank God I still have my old email so I know exactly the model, exactly the voltage, exactly what I needed. Get as far as the checkout and for some reason it's not California compliable. You sell the mower in California but you don't sell a charger? Unbelievable. So it didn't really say California. It said it didn't ship to my city. So who do I turn to? my friend in another city and she got the same message and then she always this is god bless her i mean she always takes things a step further and a step further and a step further to find out why me i'm just like fuck it i'm not gonna deal with it you don't want to send it to me i'll figure out some other way so she sent them an email and then she found out that um it can't be sent to california so i'm like are you kidding me um and then i'm having an issue i always have issues there's always some internet issue or some thing. Um, PayPal now for some reason wants me to update my browser on my phone, my new phone, and it won't let me pay for things unless I update to Chrome or Firefox or you, you know, you fill in the blank. I'm sorry, I'm just old school. Whatever I have on here, be it Internet Explorer or Google or Edge or I don't know what I even have on here. Um, it's fine by me. The minute I start doing updates, the minute I start doing what, what companies and people and software requires updates, I end up screwing myself. And I end up hating that I updated, so... I got the same error message on my tablet. I got the same error message on my phone. Honestly, I haven't tried on my laptop, which is not Chrome, but it is Edge. Um, and my, for some reason, my laptop turned off yesterday and I never turned it back on. Actually, I was just a little afraid to turn it back on. I thought, oh my God, what if I turn it back on and I short the new modem and then I end up with no cable. It's just, it's a snowball effect. So... Long story short, she ordered off of Amazon. Um, no, she ordered, she ordered off of eBay and then she paid for it and then I'm going to pay her. It's like a never ending, you know, she constantly does this for me. And I hate having to ask her, but it's like I sort of need to mow my weeds. I need to get rid of them. Um, just this morning, I pulled up my house on Redfin because I wanted to see what it looked like um, probably two months ago, if you will, I think. Or they could have used an old picture, for all I know. 
but it certainly doesn't look like this. It, it was not full on weeds. It was straight up like it looked like grass-ish. Um, even the backyard. I mean, it is a sea of foxtails. Just a sea. That's all you see is foxtails. Um, Kamali, no, no, no. Baby, 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 please. So I took Kamali for a walk yesterday in, you know, the, the neighborhood. And she came back with one in her mouth. I'm like, oh my God, help me, Jesus. Um, so I really need that mower. I don't know when the charger is going to show up. She said it had faster delivery because I sent her a link. And she was like, I found another one. It's still free shipping. It's cheaper and it'll get there faster, whatever that means. So um, I'm hoping by Monday. Um, I hope the weather continues to be crappy. For the first time since I've been here, there was no sun. Minimal, minimal. But it was humid. I don't want to say hot. I just want to say uncomfortable. The house, the thermostat said it was 80 in here. I finally, I did make progress yesterday. I found the remote that goes with the fan. I cleaned it immaculately, so there, they could have done that, the people that lived here before. I mean, it was black, disgusting. Like, I don't even want to know, you know, if you would have swiped that, what <laughs> would have come up on the meter reader. Um, so I cleaned it immaculately. I sealed it up because for some reason the screw is missing. So, I mean, it works perfectly. But... There's always a button in my life. I have two fans in my house. I actually have three. Actually, you know what? That reminds me. I should have checked the other room too. So there's three fans. One in my room, one in the other room, and one in the dining room. So I thought, well, originally when I first saw the house, the first day, the first showing, I remember the remote control. And I remember it was sitting on their dresser. Because how can you forget a disgusting remote control? And... I was like, okay, so, you know, great, it's it's a remote, I can, you know, lay in bed or, you know, turn it off and on, do the light, whatever I need to do. Come to find out, the stupid thing only works in the dining room. Works perfectly. Shuts the light off and on, um, different variable speeds, auto, manual, whatever you need. Doesn't work in my room where I need it to work, where I'm laying in bed and I don't want the fan on anymore. I have to get out of bed and turn the light switch off. That's another thing I hate. I don't want to say I hate about this house, but it's a challenge when you're used to one thing one way. Like you plug in a light. Okay, you're going to turn on the light. You don't want to turn on a light switch. I've never dealt with stuff like that before. So in my room, there's two outlets one is specifically operated by a switch which the switch operates the fan so I don't know how to if I ever wanted to put a light on that outlet what I'm gonna have to have the fan running or I don't know how to unplug a fan you know without like electrocuting myself um, so thankfully one outlet is not operated by the light switch and one is same premise in the dining room the light switch operates the fan um same thing in the other bedroom the guest bedroom the fan and the outlet one of them is operated by the light switch so i mean it's all fine and dandy right now when the house is so hot but I certainly, you know, don't need the house if it goes down to 65 degrees to be running fans. So I guess I'm going to have to rely on some floor lamps. Um, I do have a couple somewhere in here. I think one's in the garage. Um, or get like a little table and then put a couple lamps 
around where I need more light, but um, right now it's just it's just challenging. So what I plan on doing today is more work in the garage. Um, I actually have the guy showing up today who promised to loan me his ham truck. Followed up with him yesterday going, dude, I sort of need it. I appreciate your loaning it to me. By no means do you have to drop it off. I'll be happy to go get it. Funny story there. It's literally, it's literally off of the street of the house of my dreams. The house that I wanted so desperately. It's literally like off, off the main drag here and you take a left and my house um the one that I still can't forget I know that sounds horrible but you have to you have to see from my perspective what I'm in now and what's over there very similar but very different I mean just Sort of night and day, sort of, sort of not. Same scenario, 3, 1, 1,000 feet, square feet. But anyway, so um, I offered the guy, I'm like, listen, dude, I'll come pick it up. I, you know, worked myself up to a, a tizzy yesterday, moving boxes, and I couldn't move any of them where I want to move them because I, had, I didn't have your hand truck. So he was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept, I had to get to work. I'm like, that's cool, dude, that's fine. Um, but if you could manage to get it to me here today, I'd really appreciate it because I really, really need it. And the sooner you get it to me, the sooner I can get it back to you. So, um, Kamile, I'll get you kibbies in a little while. Mommy, get your kibbies. You getting the kibby, kibby nerves? Okay. So, um, I did make a lot of progress. I consolidated boxes, consolidated tubs. I relabeled the tubs. If they were labeled on the side, I labeled them on the front. Um, so I can easily see what they are. Um, my goal is still to move probably eight boxes, eight tubs into the shed. But then I also have to accommodate room for my mower because once the rain does start, which could possibly be today, um, I emailed my friend this morning who is 40 minutes away, but she's like, yeah, we got rain this morning. And I'm like, oh my God. Um, so that, hi, you want to be on the, you want to be on the thing? Okay. Here's your little friend. That's my baby. My baby. Love you. Okay. Love you, mommy. Okay. Can we finish this real fast? Oy. Okay. Okay. I love you. Okay. Mm, love you. Let's stay down here. So, I need to make sure I have room in the metal shed. And unfortunately, it only has one door. So, I'm going to have to thank God for Dollar Tree. I have a spare blue tarp, which I was going to use for painting, but then who the hell cares if I get paint on the grass or on the weeds? Who cares? I don't care. So I'm just going to put the um, tarp on one side of the missing door um, just to make sure my lawnmower doesn't get wet. There's a whole bunch of crap in there that they left me. I mean, some... Are good things like you know clippers and um, rakes and shovels and all that good stuff that I didn't have that I didn't bring with me but then you have your weed killer your weed killer spray container um, leftover paint that's not even you know it's solidified um, just a quarter of that shed is just filled with crap that I need to get rid of and then to top it off, it's built on a wooden base. They would have been better just to leave it on the ground, but then again, I guess you didn't want, but it's metal. Why would you care if, if it got wet? 
I don't, I don't know. So that's why I have to be very, very careful as to what I decide to put in the shed that it will remain dry. <sighs> Is this what you want? You camera whore. You want kibbies? You want kibbies? No, don't growl at mommy. Don't growl. Um, so, yeah. That's my plan for today. He said he's going to be here at 1030. It's almost 9. So, I need to bounce off of here and um, upload this video. And when this video gets done, I'm going to upload another one that I took two days ago that I keep meaning to upload. And then um, we'll call it done. I may just do a garage tour video tomorrow as my day five video um that's a thought because you don't know what it looked like before so why should you care what it looks like mid process um okay okay i'm gonna get the kibbles i need to take a shower and then we need to like start our day okay so i hope everybody has a great one and um Stay tuned because we're on day four. Tomorrow will be day five. It's kind of weird. I wish Monday was the first. It would be a lot easier for me to remember what day we're on. That's why in, this, in the title or description I just put day whatever. So when I look back at yesterday, I'm like, I know what day I'm on today, if that makes sense. So, um, okay. Kamali's going to say bye. Kisses. Besitos. Okay. Talk to you guys later.